Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of Drawed History Month, and we are on Blurks 1's The City Beneath entry, and I am reading about the general idea. Uh, last time, uh, I don't actually remember. There were some scrolls here. They said some things. Words. Oh. Let's just, uh, I think the scroll said that I can take this thing out without having to worry about, uh, how the world works and stuff. Uh, actually, can I just reset this whole room? There we go, alright. Right, I can, oh, that would make passage across that a lot faster. Okay. I really just want this particular part to not grow. I don't actually care about this because this is probably part of the puzzle. Anyway, apparently I can do this and not ruin the puzzle, which makes a lot of sense because I can just cut across here. What is this open again? This thing. Okay. So, scroll said some stuff. Sorry, my cat's found something on the floor. What is it? What did you find? They found a cap. You buy your cats the most expensive toys in the world. You know what they want to play with? The cap from, like, a bottle of pop. It's it's ridiculous. Or in this case, looks like a water bottle cap. Well, they're happy about it, okay? Really, really happy. Uh, so I need to, in this order, uh, obviously my, my short-term goal is to get rid of all the, the trap doors. Okay. Uh, and this is done by these guys, these two buttons here, which I need to get a baby be on, which I think I know how to do. So let's see if I can't figure that out really fast. I don't really care so much about this, because I this will trap the baby in here when I get it. I think I can like just retreat like this. And I have this nice little spot back here that I can hide. This was the the revelation I had between the first video and the last video is that where did this the tar baby or sorry in this case uh, gel baby come from to cover these switches and then I went to work, and now I'm back, and now I'm making a video. And I, so this idea apparently works, and I'm not crazy. Uh, right. Okay, no, I have to stay up here actually, because uh, they'll. This guy will just walk, walk, walk. He'll walk down uh, this corridor here, because there's a diagonal, and that doesn't stop gel babies, even though they're considered sticky, like rock golems. Uh, so I can probably wait until the gel gets right here, so I'm just going to do that. And fight off its children! Oops, no, no, no. I'm going to wait right here. Yeah, or just fight off its children. One of the two. Okay, and the second it gets there, I need to go intervene, I think. Because now the door is going to close. I should. Yes, alright. And now I have at least one gate open. I don't believe I can do this at the same time. But the next problem, I don't want this growing out, because if this grows out to the walls here, I won't be able to cut the 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 gel. I think one of the scrolls mentioned that I have to keep this cuttable. So I am going to... Oops. What do they have? What did you find? Sorry, I'm yelling at my cats. Uh... Uh, would be a good spot to stand, like here. Yeah, sure. I don't think this is enough time to get there and back. So actually, what I'm going to do is not that. I'm going to cut this a little differently. Oops. Uh, I'm going to um, let this grow into the corner here. I think that's okay. Because then I can probably yes, that'll work just fine. Gel has the fun puzzle property of not wanting to grow to stuff, or making stuff grow that it's not attached to, which just leads to a lot of really interesting puzzles. But I want this little blob here, and I know I can take care of it, I'm pretty sure, later. We'll find out. Anyway, primary objective is to clear these four blocks. And now to actually undo this door. That's the mystery here, because this these guys are fine. I don't really care, but I need to undo it so that I can do basically the same thing on the other side. I'm pretty sure. So let's let this grow a little bit. Uh, now, this sh 
shouldn't want to connect if I'm standing here, I don't think. Right, so that, this is a perfect form to cut. Alright, that's good. Oops, crap. Uh, so yeah, that opens the door. Uh-oh. Uh. Eek. Let's, uh, do this again? There we go. I've got some experience with gel, yo. I know, I know what it's all about. Okay. Uh, so now, same basic idea, opposite side. Mm, I'm gonna let that actually... There we go. Uh, da -da -da. So that's how I did that, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna fight off the children. That sounds good. The pieces of paper mentioned something about getting gel babies tied behind these western doors. I haven't quite figured out why yet. I'm not gonna worry about it until I actually understand. Alright, so this is gonna grow one more, and then I'm gonna head up. Okay. And just like last time, I actually want to let it grow into the corner here, I think. Oops. Oh gosh. Uh, cause I need to actually move to this guy, and I just need time, and I need... To, yeah, like that. Oops. Uh, can I make this a little better? Let's see here. Well, this isn't like I super ideal. I can move left here and it should be okay. Or right, I guess. Yeah, and then I can just sit here like this and it should be fine. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Just leave that there for now. And just move around and go touch this. I guess I could toggle this and keep it closed for a second, though I don't really... But yeah, no, I still need to do the cutting for sure. Okay, now I'm going to have to remove this tar bubble again. Uh, do I have to care anymore? I've got all the blocks. Uh, well, no, I want to get in there eventually, and I don't think I can... Yeah, I'll, I, I want to get in there eventually for sure. In fact, I should probably get rid of the tar mother at this point. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't really see any more use for her. Let's just... or gel leather. Gosh. Uh, yeah, that's fine, and I just want to stand like this, don't I? I think, because they're going to appear here and here, so... Alright, just to take care of this. Oops. Got a straggler. Uh. Okay. Well, um, this will probably work. I don't really think this matters. So what I can do... Alright, so what's going to happen when I go in here? This opens this door. So I'd actually do, in order to kill these guys, need to get rid of the tar mother. Or gel mother. That's right. Okay. I can drop these trapdoors. This doesn't seem like too big of an issue. <sighs> Why would I want to trap babies behind this thing, though? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. When I'm in here, what's going to be the case? What does this button do? It opens up these guys. <sighs> oh. I see. I understand now. The second I step in here, I, yeah, I just saw this. I didn't quite notice it before. This is a red gate that's open, so it'll close the second I step in here to go deal with these guys, which means all of my entrances, because all of my entrances are trapdoors in order to progress this puzzle, uh, will be gone. Except this exit right here with the green gate. So I'll, I'll have to have something step on these so I can... Yeah, that's why. That's perfect. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Uh, fortunately for me, this actually shouldn't be too hard. Like, keeping them here should be fine, because the diagonal will catch them here and keep them busy while I'm on the other side. Okay, good. So you can come up here and just chill. Alright, so that keeps them busy. Oops. Uh, and I 
do believe there's no reason for me not to murder the mother right now. Uh, oops. If I have the turns available. Uh, I don't think anything was hurt by that. Okay. Just. Oh, whoops. Uh, no. I should be able to pull it off. No, I can't. Crap. Uh, yep. I definitely need this to go differently. So let's buy as much time as I ha I can afford here. Oh, yeah. Grow one more time. I'm actually going to make sure this is not going to do what I want it to. Or do make it sure it does what I want it to. Because, uh... Yep. So... There we go. Alright. Uh, just a little more time. Probably could have done that way more efficiently, but honestly, when it comes to me, who cares? I'm, I'm just terrible at this game. Oops. Uh... Okay. <laughs> nice exploitation of ortho arrows there. Go me. You can break one more time, please. There we go. Wow, I'm just bad at this game. <laughs> okay. So now I... I'm going to wait one more turn here. Yep. Is this faster? Oh, this is much faster. Why did I do that before? Gosh, I'm just dumb sometimes. Okay, so everything should be peachy keen now. Uh, let's go ahead and drop these, and drop these. And, ooh. I might need to do a little bit of clearing out. I don't think this is going to be, like, pretty... Yep, I kind of figured. Okay, but I do have some retreats here, so I can do this. And that's not a bad thing. And uh, let's just do one more for good measure. Because I do need to clear at least one of these sides out, it looks like. Oops. Uh, something like that. Let's see how much damage I can do just by myself. Oops. Okay, so that gives me access to at least one red door. And clears out a side. So that's perfect fine right there. There's no black door at all. So I can just do this, I believe. Boom, boom, boom. And as far as I know, I just step in like that. So now I'm trapped in, like I said before. Alright, I think this is going well. And the second these guys drop off this, that's interesting rule. I've seen, yeah, for people who haven't watched the other videos, that, uh, did I learn this in this video set? I don't remember. About how trapdoors that start with monsters on them, sorry, not trapdoors, uh, pressure plates that start with monsters on them, this particular type uh, won't trigger until something new steps on it. So this gets to be me. This should drop these doors, which, which is great. But now, oh, wait, how's this work? Oh, they're opposites. I kind of forgot that. Um, hopefully this isn't an issue. So if he sits there, that's not really a problem. And I can just sort of guide him up into this territory. Oh boy, I hope this works out. Oh, crap. There we go, and that clears that, and now, yeah, this will work just fine. Perfect, okay. Good, good, good. Yep. And the room is done. Beautiful. And the guy still hasn't found his brother. Go me. That actually was pretty fun. I would have hated to do it without Unlimited Undo, but it was, you know, not a bad room all, all around. I, it was perfectly solvable. The hints about um, the order to do things in sort of kind of pushed me in the... What? Oh, didn't anyone tell anyone that I don't like rock giants? Oh, this is probably too complicated for a Gunther room, and I don't think any of the rooms actually use shallow water plus rock golems. This would more accurately be called the Flood Warning Room, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because Flood Warning was awesome. T.F. Murphy needs to make way more things, because, come on now. Okay, what about, what's, what, I have soldier horns. That's interesting. Do I care? Soldiers are probably going to want to be used for going for these guys in the corner here, I think. What do these do? Do these do anything? Or am I just, oh, wait, yeah. Uh, okay, why do those all close? So those toggle the first, but they keep those. So I'm guessing the choice here is that you want to do these first and then something else. 
Yes, opens these. So this part comes second. So whatever puzzle this is, what are you doing? Those open my inner gate. Okay, so this actually is probably part one of one. I'm going to avoid the, the notes for now just to see if I can't figure this one out. Part one of one. This is all shallow water. What does this have to do with anything? It's, oh, I need to build stepping stones in order to kill these roaches, I believe. And then, uh, okay, that. Ah, uh, okay, so remember, stepping stones can come from a couple different sources. Yeah, I'm going to need at least some of the mirrors, or maybe part of the rock elms, to be here, here, yeah, in the in these four X locations, because if th the first order of business is dropping the, because uh, I need to get to the horns first, like we saw with these, these clothes first, uh, I need to get to the horns first, and that involves dropping the red door, which involves dropping these trap doors, which means that when I'm in the water here, because this will drop into water, I believe, uh, yeah, I won't have a place to put my sword because you tuck it away when you go underwater. So I need to have stepping stones in these locations, which doesn't seem like I want the... I could do that with the mirrors or the golem, but that doesn't solve the problem of what do I do here? Uh, I, I, I want to assume that this implies that I need to... Use the mirrors here because I still have no sword location that makes any sense. Uh, at least one of the mirrors here, I think. Okay, I'm trying to trying to figure out the order in which all of this occurs. Are these over? Yes. Okay. I should have gotten the clue there from the corners. So that's, this is the easy part of the challenge. The hard part is actually getting these roaches off of uh, this pressure plate, looks like. Because I need at least one stepping stone out there. Uh, four? Because roaches won't go on water. I know they won't. So let's just, yeah, see, I don't have my, they don't, they don't do anything cool there. So... Uh, at least okay this is an implicative that I find if, if I'm going to need I'm going to need four things here and I'm going to need at least four things here which things go where this is sort of the mystery I think uh, I do believe the first thing here must be, well, not necessarily. I feel like I have to drop all the trapdoors first, like all of them, like that has to happen first because there's no way for the rock golem to get inside without being in tiny little pieces, and it can't be in tiny little pieces. Uh, think. Unless... Man, that's just crazy. Uh, it can't be in tiny little pieces unless he's, you know, been born and been broken. So the first thing I break on the rock golem needs to be in the water here, which means he has to go through this part. I'm just going to do a couple things and see how that goes. Oops. Do this part. I think there's no reason I shouldn't do this first, okay? Pretty sure. Now that I've like psychoanalyzed this whole. Let's keep you buried for just a moment. I'm not so sure that I actually should have put that there. Let me think about that. It might be really difficult to get rock golems into these other locations, however. Uh, I think. I need at least one out here. I'm gonna just try. Oh, no! Getting busy there. I don't know why I'm doing it from this side. I just kind of want to. 
Uh, all right, so I want to say that the first. Can I do like this? All right. This is where this gets moderately annoying. Okay, so I'm going to just. My cat's mewing. What does it mean? Uh, oh man, are there some, is there a brain somewhere here that I just can't see? Can I like lose you down? Oh no, that's actually not shallow water. I kind of wait. This isn't either. Then okay, that's interesting. All right, so that buys me a little time. Okay. Now I'm not going to be able to do that again, because I've I've wasted my all right. Um. You can just kind of get. Oops. You can just kind of get over there. I don't really care. You can. You Okay, so I'm kind of safe there. Alright, this is where the mystery kind of begins. What can I pull off here? This makes me think that I should not have wasted the golem on this part, because it wouldn't have really mattered, because now like the golems are still going to be huge butts about this whole thing. You, I didn't actually know that they could walk on ortho squares like that. That's really interesting. Oh, come on. Just when you think you have a good idea, there's like no way to really pull it off. Cause I need I need the lateral movement there. I might not be able to figure this one out this turn. Yeah, there's like not a good idea that I have right now. Well, okay, hold on. If I let's assume that I've done something stupid like this. Yeah, there's no. No, that wouldn't make any sense either. No, I don't know how I was supposed to do this. I don't think another mirror would have mattered. I don't think it would have gotten it up there, you know? <sighs> yeah, this isn't going to work. Like will almost run. Away. I need I need to kill it here. I don't know how to pull that off. Cause no other spot's gonna get me there in time. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I'm almost at 25. I am at 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here while I think about this. I might go read those scrolls. Who knows? Anyway, this has been your host. Oops, sorry. This has been your host, Pearls, uh, with uh, Blork Swan's last room with Gunthrow. Trod History Month. It's been wonderful. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.